What's up, everybody? What's going on? My name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. We are La Lido Loca, and it's Cruise Day Night Live. Cruise Day Night Live. Cruise Day Night What's going on, all you party people, cruisers out there? That's it. That's all I got. That's all you got. Look, uh, I booked a risky cruise. It's in. Yeah, yeah. I'm already having throwbacks to another cruise that made me feel like this cruise is risky. <laughs> uh, but look, do a couple things if you could. I'll tell you what the Risky Cruise is in just a few moments. We'll give everybody a second to get in. But if you're here, uh, let me know you're here by hitting the like button. That would be very helpful. Uh, Jenny B. Yes, baby. Are you ready for Easter? I am. Have you uh, gotten me an Easter basket yet? Absolutely. Do you think we'll have a lot of kids come by for trick-or-treating or? <laughs> no? It's not the right holiday. Not the right holiday. Dang they might it. come to do an egg hunt. Who are we talking to? Oh, maybe it was Marissa that said the church that she goes to, they drop Easter eggs out of helicopters. Oh, that's that's dangerous. That's kind of wild. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get pelted with an Easter exactly. egg. Exactly. Uh, okay. Uh, so the last time we talked, I had just... Let me get out the old Shipmate app. Do it. The last time we were here, we're going to answer your cruise questions once we get through this little announcement. So get ready with your question. Just type question in the comments, but in a minute, not now. Um, okay. Well, Kathy Dunn, we are glad that you're here. Um, yeah, it's been a sad day for Maryland and um, just it's been, yeah, for the whole country. It's very devastating. And, um, yeah, so we're glad that you're here. Baltimore. Yeah. And yeah, my days all run together. Baltimore was today. Yeah. That's oh, very sad. Um, let's see, the last time I was here, well, th 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 what a bummer that is. <sighs> okay. Uh, the last time I was here, we talked about Utopia of the Seas on July the 22nd. Mm -hmm. What is the protocol? Like, do we have, like, so should we spend some time talking about Baltimore Man, details are still coming out. It's like, I think they called off the search with six people still not recovered. Uh, crazy scene as that cargo ship lost power, regained power, lost power, hit the bridge, and then all those people tumbled into the water. Um, yeah, and now we got thousands of people that are going to be rerouted to get back and shipping is shut down. Uh, it's a, f a freak accident. Of course, uh, all the wackadoos are out there yelling conspiracy um, it's a crazy day, and yes. I, I think um, I think all of us are heartfelt for what's going on in Baltimore, and certainly we could wallow in the muck and the mire, but uh, shall we talk cruising? Shall we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, well, whatever the announcement is, I, all the wind's out of my sails now. Uh, I booked the Utopia before the second Utopia, so it was risky because it's an inaugural cruise, and... 
Well, and when we were on The Wonder, um, it was so it was so cool to be on the inaugural, right? No, it sucked. Well, I mean, for me, it was just kind of cool to be there, but there was nothing that was completed. No, it was it wasn't good. That was the first time we'd ever been on a first sailing. Yeah. And I don't think we realized that it was not going to be ready. Right. And so it is risky, but the cool thing about now is that hindsight being 2020, at least I, I can go into it going, if it's not ready, it's not ready. Right. 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 So it, it, you get to bring a whole different attitude to it. Absolutely. So. And I mean, an, another, you know, it's another Oasis sailing. Should we not do the show tonight because of Baltimore? I had some people say that, you know, we should stop everything that we're doing because of Baltimore. And yeah. it's weird. Like, the world's weird. You know, you uh, certainly we feel bad for Baltimore. But at the same time, you know, we also, it's like you mourn with people who mourn and you celebrate with people who celebrate. I, I don't know. Should we just cut out, do you think? No. Like, she's here from Maryland because she wants a little laughs. I know, but it's so hard to laugh in the face of uh, turmoil. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the right thing is. Well, we can do a, a quick uh, silence, you know, for 30 seconds. Whatever you think. Praying for everybody there. But it's hard for me to be silent. I'm sorry. It is hard for you to be silent. <laughs> uh, okay. Anybody have any cruise questions? Yeah, I, I had it held somewhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so somebody was asking about um, discounted gift cards for cruising. So, yeah, AARP, if you belong uh, to them, you can get 10% off of most of the cruise lines. Like Carnival does 500 for 450 and 100 for 90 um, Also, so, um, some of my um, people get it from Allstate. They have the same kind of program. And Costco, because you're a Costco member now, sometimes they run promotions there. Kroger, get some gas points. There you go. Yeah. Gas points. Uh, let's see. Question, have they started sports betting on Carnival? I feel like yes. Maybe on the Jubilee? Was it on the Jubilee? I feel like we saw I, it I on the Jubilee. I feel like it was, yeah. yeah. I feel like we saw it on the Jubilee. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another big announcement that came out after the news. Well, so back to Baltimore. It does sound like Carnival's going to reroute the ship that is out right now to Norfolk. And then they're going to do their future cruises from Norfolk. And then uh, they also put a press release out today that they're building a fifth XL class ship. So they put out a picture that had uh, Mardi Gras, Celebration, Jubilee, uh, they named the four ships, ship number, like XL number four, and they named the fifth one XL number five. Now, do you reckon they'll like change that name, or do you think those are the <laughs> official names of those ships? I don't know. On the picture, it just said XL number four and XL number five. No. Did they say where they were going yet? No, it didn't say. Didn't say. What's Quest your guess? I don't know. I don't know. Question from Nathan Gilbert. Booked on the inaugural cruise to Celebration Key next July. As cruise content creators, will you be on that itinerary? We haven't... Uh, no. I mean, we, have, we don't have it booked. We don't really have anything booked. Uh, we, we didn't really do anything because of the surgery. And now that the surgery's over, we've got to get back in the flow on it. Typically, I don't really go to the first of anything because I didn't have a good time on the Wonder. Uh, I, you know... I, I guess it's good to be the first person to put stuff out, but then, you know, at the same time, I think it's good to put stuff out in your own style with your own voice. So, you know, I mean, nobody else can put out my voice. So maybe you'll see, you know, Celebration Key through somebody else's eyes first, which I think is great. But then I think any time that I would go, I think I could still add something to the conversation. We could add something to the conversation. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no plan to. No plan to. Uh, am I excited for WrestleMania? Jose Laura asked. No, <laughs> uh, I haven't been following wrestling at all, but my son Gregory has been following wrestling and he's quite excited. He is, because uh, we were asking, well, I was, I call, I was talking to him last night and I was like, hey, you coming in for Easter? No, like his um, girlfriend's family's going up there where he lives. But then he goes, but mom, you know what's happening this weekend is WrestleMania. <laughs> Question, when is the Utopia sailing? Uh, so 
The three-day sailing, which becomes the first sailing, starts on July the 19th out of Port Canaveral. And then the, so when I finish the three-day, then I'm jumping on the four-day. Uh, I don't think we're in the same cabin, so we'll have to, it's me and the, another uh, content creator, uh, Mike the Naughty Cruiser that lives here in Spring Hill. Uh, so we get off on the 19th and then we get back on on the 22nd. So I'm not sure what that process is going to be like, but that way that'll give us seven days on Utopia of the Seas. And uh, I should be able to at least get a good ship tour going on there. It's really wild how, like, it seems like a lot of folks like the walk and talk ship tour that I've been doing. So mm -hmm. I'll definitely do that on Utopia. And then if they have any new venues or something, I'll probably do that. But looking forward to... Uh, Looking forward to seeing it. Uh, Jennifer Atkins, thank you so much for the super chat. Hello, Jenny B from Jenny A. Aw, Jenny A, what's going on? Thank you. What is Jenny O? Oh, that's turkey. Where's Jenny O? <laughs> We're looking for turkey burgers tonight. Oh boy, turkey burgers. What about Margaritaville Islander? It's coming to Tampa. Gonna go to the West Caribbean. Uh, I don't have any plans on sailing on that right now. So. No, not right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, Carla, his voice, right? Like it, it's so, um, it's just vibrant. And, you know, there's a young. lot of resonance in it. Yeah. Uh, Keith Morris, so the question going on the Oasis of the Seas for the first time out of Barcelona in June. I've heard you say it was your favorite ship. Why is it your favorite? Uh, I think because that ship. Which ship is it? Oasis. The reason mm -hmm. I like Oasis is it's a huge cruise ship. And it's so big that it doesn't feel crowded, which is nice because I've been on some smaller cruise ships and felt crowded. Because it's so big, you get an incredible entertainment offering mm -hmm. uh, from an aqua show to an ice skating show to a Broadway production to a comedy club. They used to have a jazz club there. I love the multi-deck open promenade. I really like that vibe. The big uh, knock that it has is they don't have a lot of views to the sea. Some people say it doesn't feel like cruising. I think if you're cruising in a balcony, it feels like that. So I'm interested mm -hmm. to see Icon letting the natural light in, but uh, they're just great ships. I like a big cruise ship. Not everybody does, but uh, Oasis was magical for us. It really was amazing, right? It was our first time on that class, and that's when they used, um, used to have the parade. Yep. Was, yeah, we saw it was a big just, like, uh, amazing. I was like, DreamWorks wow, parade. This is so yeah. cool. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, we were very excited when the pathology came back on the thyroid. No cancer. Yes. That was a blessing for sure. Absolutely. Sharon at Sea is in the house. They've been killing it, making some great videos. They have. If you guys are unfamiliar with Sharon at Sea, make sure you go and subscribe over there. My brother Retro Sarge is here in the house. What's up, Christopher? Along with uh, his bride cruising, uh, cruising for food. They just uh, bought a house here a couple miles away from us. So it was really cool to spend time with my brother and Wanda all weekend. Uh, I'm blaming my brother for taking me to Costco on a Saturday. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty jacked up. There was so many people there. But I did become a joiner. I laid down the 120. I got the membership. And I just stared at big TVs, which I felt pretty pretty cool. <laughs> uh, and, and also, I noticed they had a Bose sound bar there. Really? I didn't buy it. But uh, they also had three separate Lego sets there. I might have bought a couple. Um, yes. So uh, good to see them. And uh, I can't wait till they move here full time. We got about a month. Robert Murphy, thank you so much for the super chat. What do you think about Haiti maybe trying to target cruise ships as they get desperate? Just wondering about passing by. It, I don't think they have the capacity to go out mm -hmm. and target the cruise. The cruise ships aren't stopping there. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess they could try to go to the Dominican Republic side. But what mm -hmm. I understand is there's a very fortified border between the Dominican Republic and Haiti on that island. Uh, I don't think I don't think you're going to see a cruise ship get attacked from Haiti. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat, Lita Life. Thank you for the super sticker. Appreciate it. Thank you. Mercy Rodriguez is here. What's going on, Mercy? Mercy. Mercy. Mercy, mercy. Question, does MSC offer to take your suitcase off the ship if you leave it out the night before disembarkation day? And is the buffet available before getting off the ship? Yes and yes. So they have a standard debark process where you can leave your bag out the night before, they'll take it to the terminal, and then the restaurants are open for a Jimmy Buffett breakfast, the buffet breakfast. Jimmy Buffett. That's right. Uh, Ped, P-E-B Mets, Peb Mets. Thank you so much for the Super Chat. Glad you're doing better. Port Canaveral has grown over the years. As for nice. ships, I have to say that Royal Caribbean does an excellent job with innovating new ships. Was it that long ago where the Voyager class was the largest? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We got in the game after that. So Oasis, Oasis was already there. We started, we're coming up on seven years cruising, which is mind-blowing. 
Yes. Uh, the 21st of next month, I think it is, maybe when we made our first video. Um, but yeah, so seven years, then Oasis was already on the scene. But yeah, I believe Voyager was the biggest class. <laughs> Royal does push the uh, limits for innovation. But looking at everybody's footage off of uh, Sun Princess, it yeah. looks like they're doing something new and innovative. So let's go. That looks pretty interesting. <laughs> Uh, is it common for cruises to lose power? We had an outage on Allure this weekend. Haven't seen anything about it. I don't know that it's common. They do have backup systems, generators, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it certainly does happen. I think I've been on a cruise ship that lost power before. Haven't, haven't we been on a ship? Just a short. I mean, yeah, it was, it was just like, a, a like a brownout or yeah. something like that. But yeah. Question, have you ever had the cruise line lose your luggage? If so, were you able to recover it? Fortunately, knock on wood, 50-something mm -hmm. cruises, no loss of luggage. Uh, I'm sure they'll get it to you, but yeah, I've never, I've never had that happen before. Mm -hmm. uh, questions, uh, question from Rex, uh, Rex Love. Any plans for Alaska this year? Yeah, so Jenny uh, has booked a cruise with her childhood best friend and others, and so we're doing a, a friends cruise in September. Yes. So that should be fun. It's gonna be lots of fun. Should be fun. Uh, uh, another question. The IMAX on the Vista, can you bring food inside? Like if you grab sandwiches from the deli on the way? Yeah, I don't think you're forced to buy what they have. They have a concession stand there. I didn't try to bring outside food, but I don't see, I can't imagine they would stop you. I just bought some stuff from the uh, uh, concession stand. Very nice. Did I go? Oh, yeah, I went on the Vista. I went into the IMAX. We saw, was it the Bear? Was it the bear video in the IMAX? I don't know, but I do remember. Yeah, I remember in Texas. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on a, uh, Alan Glenn, question. On a scale from 1 to 10, how frustrating is it to get in and out of the Miami cruise terminal? Uh, it was fine. I, I didn't have any problem with it. I stayed a few blocks over at a Fairfield, took an Uber, and went right into the terminal. So it was, uh, wasn't that hard. Wasn't mm -hmm. that hard. Uh, let's see. Question, where should we park when we leave from Port Canaveral? You can do it a couple ways. Uh, right there at the Ramada Resort at the port, there's a big parking facility. I don't think, I can't remember what the name of it is. You can do that and shuttle over. I think it's park by the port. Park by the port, yeah. Um, or you can park at the port at one of the parking garages. Sometimes those fill up. I like that because I like to be able to get in the car and leave. But uh, mm -hmm. both are good options there in the uh, Port Canaveral. Yeah. Uh, are we going on the Latitudes member cruise? Connie asks. No, we're What not. is that? That's an NCL thing? Mm -hmm. yeah. They, yeah, they invite you over there. Um, this is an interesting question from Deirdre, and now I lost it. Um, I think it was something like, if you had your own cruise line, what would it be known for? The entertainment. Yeah, I think Tony definitely would be entertainment, and mine's kind of entertainment. I would have the best, best casino. casino. Let's see. That's right. I was gonna say that's the that's the right. <laughs> With a answer. coffee shop right in the middle. <laughs> Brenna Rosardi, hey, what's going on, Brenna? Been thinking about you. Yes. Brenna. Greetings from Ruskin. Let's talk about cruising Japan in the spring. I would love to go back to Japan. I, you know, I, I flew into China, then cruised to Japan. But uh, before that, Don did a cruise that he left the West Coast and ended up in Japan without going to China. That sounds kind of a cool way to go too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, much love to you, Brennan. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Chef Mike Speaks, thank you for the super sticker, super chat. Uh, appreciate it. Yeah, Alan, I was talking about my uh, Manhattan. So yeah, it was uh, Miami, I think, was worse for me. I, uh, Miami, the traffic is an annoying. Um, let's see this one. Um, so WTF, where are the Flynn's? Um, they're, they are diehard NCL um, fans. I did su suggest them to book the MSC Yacht Club um, just because of time frame and dates and stuff like that. So the more they get closer, they're getting excited. So I'm glad that you guys are happy and I can't wait to see what they think about the, the Yacht Club and the MSC. 1975 lap, uh, what is your favorite cruise drink? If I'm on Royal or Norwegian, it's uh, iced coffee from the Starbucks. Yes. Carnivals, they struggle a little bit with the coffee drinks. I guess a iced latte on Carnival yeah. or Diet Mountain Dew on Carnival. I try to stay yeah, away from Yeah, because they the, have Pepsi products. Yeah, I try so to stay away from the soda, though. Yeah, and then on um, Princess, um, Virgin Dirty Banana is awesome and... Their hot chocolate is excellent. They have a pretty decent um, coffee bar. Of course, it's not like Starbucks, but it's still good. 
Uh, question, best, uh, this is from Quibs90. What's the best Alaskan excursion on a budget? I tell you one thing that you could do on the cheap. If you go to Juno, there's a city bus that's, I think, less than $5 mm -hmm. per person. You can take that city bus to the Mendenhall Glacier and you can walk around for hours out there. You can go to Nugget Falls. You can go deeper into the trails there. You can go to the observation center. I don't actually think it costs anything to get into Mendenhall. I think I think they just drop you off and it's free. I've always done it through an excursion, but I think a city bus to Mendenhall would be a cheap way to do Juno, and then Skagway is another one of those towns that you can walk into for free and they've got, you know, old timey saloons and they've got interesting eateries and gift shops and you, uh, you know, you can see the train come by, you can take pictures. So you can kind of do that cheap and catch can the same thing. You can walk around for cheap and still see interesting things. Uh, but like if you want to go well watching or something like that, that's going to cost you a little extra money. But uh, Mendenhall is probably the coolest thing beyond walking around a town that you can do uh, on the cheap, I would say, in Alaska. A uh, question from Francis Jackson, scheduled for a how Rotterdam. Any comments about the ship? Thank you. I loved it. I thought it was great. Uh, I really like the indoor pool area. They had a lot of great food selections. The music was happening every night. Casino was just lively enough. Uh, it closes down a little early, you know, like... Uh, a couple days into it, you adjust your schedule. I like would get up earlier and then go to bed earlier because once you hit like 11 or 12 o'clock, there's nothing going on on that ship was my experience. And a lot of the venues closed down, but beautiful ship, clean ship, good food, uh, good music, good entertainment. And uh, it was really pleasant. I think I spent 22 days on that cruise ship last year and uh, I liked it quite a bit, quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Up, oh, I'm down. Someone at the did ask, uh, "What is our favorite uh, cruise line?" And our answer is always the next one. It's the next one. Next one. It's so the that's next royal. one. So then, but the follow up is, I guess, if uh, we could only cruise one and we were forced to, I would probably. It's a toss up between Princess and Royal right now. Yeah. I think I like Carnival too. It's so hard. Fortunately, we don't have to. We don't have to figure that out. Right. Yeah, we can play the field. <laughs> but if we, but if we did. Um, it would be very difficult, but I do enjoy the tech on, on Princess. Princess, yeah. yeah. Uh, in the holler question, we went to Alaska on Royal Caribbean. We're going again next year. What's another good company to use as in ships? Thinks Princess and Holland both have yeah. excellent reputations in Alaska. I think Holland's been going there for 50 years. Mm -hmm. I've been on a few Princess cruises. We also were on the Norwegian um, Encore. And they did and decent, It too. was great. Mm -hmm. It was nice. Uh, I loved the viewing on the Encore. But uh, if you want a, like a hardcore, you know, true, I mean, they're all true Alaskan experiences, but Princess always has great naturalists. Holland, I, we haven't experienced Holland in Alaska yet. I think that's on our list. So we've done Carnival, we've done uh, Norwegian, we've done Princess there. So I think we've got to round that out with a Royal and uh, Holland. You know, and the thing is too with Alaska, it's not you're not really going to Alaska like with the with the Caribbean because we all go to you know Cozumel and and Nassau, you know that the ship is also part of the destination. Whereas I feel like Alaska is a little bit different, right? Like that's really the destination. Yeah. Are 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 the are the ports there? You know, so you know the ship is important, but um, it's really the destination of where you're going. Yeah. Uh, Wismic, Wimsic, Wimsic, uh, asks a cruising adjacent question for Jenny. I don't know if, if you can answer this. Can you speak to paying for cruises with points? How to make points go further? Best way to work with agents or cruises to use points? Like credit card points? Or I, I don't know what that is. I mean, I guess it's credit card points. I'm not sure. Now, I know with Carnival, they you can trade those in, I believe, for either onboard credit or you can get a gift card, right? So then you can pay um, your cruise fare with that gift card. And then Royal, Royal, you actually have to um, call them like yourself. And then if it's with a travel agent, they just put it on to the booking. So it's not, you can utilize a travel agent. Mm. Mark Levine, do you have any quickly cruise plans soon? No, the first cruise that uh, I have is in July, mm -hmm. and Jenny's next cruise is That's sep September, September, so we're going to have to change that up a little bit. Yeah, I think there's a girl's... Aren't you doing a host on a girl's cruise or something? I think so. Send Jenny an email. Mm -hmm. She's trying to put together a girl's group cruise for uh, next month. No, I'm just kidding. Um, question, any plans for Viking? 
I don't have any plans for Viking. Uh, Viking, you know, maybe 15 years from now. Yeah. You know, we could do a river cruise. They just, they don't have a casino and it's, it's probably more like fancy than we want. Like yeah. it's like a high level of service. Like if you want to experience where you're well taken care of and everything's included, all that kind of thing, I think Viking's great. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, that's not really the way I like to cruise. Mm -mm. So I don't like people fussing over me. Um, let's see. Qu oh, the whole thing jumped. Okay. A, a question from Latina Walker. Going on the Mardi Gras in May, what are your likes and dislikes? Mardi Gras. Um, so to be fair, I really have to revisit Mardi Gras. Um, you know, we, we were on the Mardi Gras once, um, you know, after the shutdown. And then we went with a group of people and it was really just a lot. So I didn't really enjoy the Mardi Gras like I should have. Um, but I tell you what, the sister ships, you know, the celebration, the jubilee, absolutely love them. Um, and I think that you'll have a great time on the Mardi Gras. So to see, definitely, you know, go see some of those shows. And um, what, is the, what is that called? The Center Stage. The Center Stage. They, they all have a different name. Like Celebration yeah. Central might be the other. Right. I don't know. Yeah. But the center part of the ship. Yeah, my, my likes and dislikes on Mardi Gras. A lot of great included food, especially like mm -hmm. if you haven't been on a ship that's got Shaq's Big Chicken. That's a nice included food option. I love the entertainment, but what I don't what I don't like is the waiting for the entertainment. So if you right. want to see those shows, you have to show up early. That's probably my big biggest yeah. dislike is if you're going to go see a 45 minute show at seven, right. you kind of invest two hours because if you're not in a seat by like six o'clock, you're not going to get a good seat. Yeah, was that was that the, ju the jubilee that the jubilee uh, celebration yeah. Mardi Gras? Yeah, all, all were was, all were one like night that. I think we were waiting, and it was like two hours before the show, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. what are we doing? Yeah, and it was and there were people everywhere. It was yeah. like, yeah. Uh, Keith Morris, any plans to rebook your transatlantic? No, it left. So yeah, it left. It left on, on the twenty third. So no chance to rebook that trans. Oh, like another transatlantic? I think at some point we'll do another transatlantic. So. Yeah, it was just beautiful, like how it's set up. So um, you know, I'll have to do some research to try to get that all kind of to align properly, right? Beverly Judica, what's your what port is your favorite and why? Um. I mean, I really enjoyed Cuba when we went, um, and that was more just because it was emotional. But beauty-wise, I would have to say Puerto Rico. I think it was beautiful, um, and Juno. Yeah, I think Juno is a good one to say. I've been to a lot of great places, but Juno, they have whales there, which is amazing. Right. And, and the glacier. Were in, and you were in Europe, right? So you have oh, yeah. a little I mean, bit broader in Japan and yeah. China. The, Australia. So Australia. There's a lot to choose from, but I think Juno is a pretty safe bet. Uh, and mm -hmm. nobody can go wrong, I would think, going to Juno. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Best thing about the independence of the seas, taking care of business 777. I don't know if that's what TCB stands for. Never been on independence. If anybody's been on independence, uh, drop some knowledge for them there so that they know. Question Are you booked on Utopia for July the 22nd? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the 19th yeah. and the 22nd, Adamar. Yeah. We'll be there. Uh, what? Oh, that's a great question from uh, main, main Man The. Uh, what cruise lines will match your loyalty level on another cruise line? Um, so MSC does that one time for you. And then um, Royal and Celebrity, because they're owned by the same mother company, um, they're under the same umbrella. You Like if you're Diamond on Royal, Celebrity will, I think it's Prime, We'll consider you a prime and vice versa, right? Like they'll they'll match each other. Uh, let's see. Okay, that was that was that one. Uh, let me pop Jenny's info in here. It's Jay Barnett. If you guys would like help booking your cruise, actually just put travel at loudly to look. Travel at loudly to look at this beautiful mm -hmm. woman next to me has booked thousands of cruises, and uh, you can uh, get her assistance for free. Just shoot her an email, mm -hmm. uh, loudly to loca. Travel at LaliTaLoka.com. Yeah, it's just easier right? for me to go through them. Boom. There's that. Question, I understand. Question. Questions everywhere. Do you think cruise prices will drop next year, Marie Sterling asks? Um, I don't know. Everything is going up, right? So inflation, inflation, inflation. So they have to, they have to raise their prices, right? So once we see maybe a break here on land, like with... 
other things? Maybe we can see something in, in the cruising world. Um, yeah, demand is uh, mm -hmm. crazy. What is the best cruise itinerary for romance anniversary from Christiana? Uh, hmm. Gosh, I don't know. Like I, I St. Martin was beautiful, yeah. Half Moon K. I think most cruises are yeah. romantic. You know, there's a lot of opportunity. I think the thing that makes a cruise romantic is to do romantic things. Like, you know, get some decorations to your cabin, make sure you book some private specialty mm -hmm. dining, try to get a table that's candlelit, that kind of thing. Stay up late and walk around the deck at night, go dancing. I mean, I think there's just a ton of stuff that you can do to make your cruise romantic. What's a romantic destination? I know some people think maybe Hawaii is romantic. You could go to Hawaii. We've never been there, but uh, I guess you can, I think you can kindle the flame wherever you want. Yeah, I mean, I think every port is like romantic, right? Yeah. Like you can just stroll, you know, stroll the local town and, you know, like Puerto Rico was just beautiful, right? Because you can sit right there mm -hmm. and look at the water and we were there at night. It was beautiful. Sunset and sunset in Puerto Rico with your with your favorite person. Can't beat it. Cruising with the kids. Cruising, cruising, cruising down the street. Uh, hi, looking uh, to cruise with my kids around the Norwegian fjords next year. Who do you recommend to sail with in that area that will also entertain the kids? I'm not sure who does the fjords. I would think most of the major cruise mm -hmm. lines do that. If you can get a royal cruise or a carnival cruise, I think that would be good for the kids. Hertegruten is really the specialist for some of that Norwegian fjord cruising, but I don't know that it, they're that peppy for the kids. I would try to go with one of the major ones. I would go Norwegian, um, royal, or carnival. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Richard says, should I go on MSC, MSC Encore or NCL Encore? Uh, or rebook for on another cruise. I have a 26 cruise on the... The Encore's a great ship. The Joy's a great ship. Mm -hmm. I think you'll have a good time on both. I wouldn't rebook unless you had to. Uh, question, hotel recommendation for leaving out of the Seattle Terminal. If you're going on the um, Norwegian Seattle. ship, mm -hmm. yeah, I would do uh, the Marriott Waterfront. That's right across from that cruise terminal. Uh, but again, it depends. If you're, It's expensive to stay down there on the water. Right. If you're not going to do anything in that area, like go to the Space Needle or anything like that, just stay by the airport on the cheap and Uber in. Yeah, we uh, stayed at C. Was it C? What's that? SeaTac. SeaTac. Yeah. yeah. There's there's a lot of great hotels hotel there, there for a better reasonably yeah. price. Yeah, and it was very easy from the airport, and I mean it wasn't horrible getting to the cruise port um, that time either. So. Uh, do I know how the Frenze is making its way to Long Beach? I don't know. Um, I heard the water's low in the canal, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's going to knock the frenzy out of the uh, transit. Uh, they may have to go around South America, but I'm not sure. A uh, question from Greg: Heading out next Monday on the MSC Magnifica, what are your thoughts on Ocean K? Any must do or see? It's pretty cool over there. I mean, essentially, it's just a beach, uh, you know, where you can go get in the water. That swimming area right in front of the ship is nice. There is some walking around that you can do. There's some food areas on there, but essentially you're just getting a beach day. I think there might be some rentals, like jet ski rentals or something over there, but uh, lather up that sunscreen and take yourself a towel and get on the beach. That's pretty much what, I don't usually get off at Ocean K. If you're there late enough, you get to see the Lighthouse show. I think you can do a tour of the Lighthouse, uh, but yeah, right. just gonna just think of it as a sunny Bahamian beach day at Ocean K. Um, it's nice there, though. It's pretty. It is pretty. Yeah. Like like the last MSC cruise that we were on, it was raining, so we didn't even get off. And I mean, just the light show is pretty cool, and it's just a, it's a pretty location. Yeah. Uh, Connie asked, "Can you book casino offers?" Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we've never used GoPort for transportation from uh, Orlando Airport or any Orlando hotel. So I booked a few of my um, clients' guests. Yeah. For, um, would go port and I mean it worked out fine. Uh, let's see. Michaela wants to know when Ludo will be making an appearance. Anytime that a song <laughs> is referenced, you know Ludacris will be making an appearance. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Question: Have you ever received free cruises from the casino based on your play? Jenny more so than I have. What's that? Completely free uh, cruise based mm -hmm. on your casino play. Yeah, I'm just, I usually yeah. get some sort of discounted offer and some sort of free play or something like that. Yeah, I get a lot of interior free. Um, actually, in Carnival, we had a couple of free balconies. And um, 
I mean, Princess is always real good about theirs and giving you onboard credit once you, once you get on. All right, so we're halfway through the show. Yes. There's over 1,500 people here. Perfect. But Hello, we're not everybody. we're not we're not quite to a thousand likes. So if you guys could take a second at the midway point, we'll take a swig of the coffee. Uh, if you guys could take a second, if you haven't, please hit that like button. Let's see if we can get it to a thousand before the end of the hour. Uh, big appreciation for you guys being here. And uh, have, let me take I, a drink and we'll ask. Do some I more. have any more coffee? Oh, no. You got your fresca. I do have my fresca. Put it out. I love you. All right. Question, question. Just Sleepless has a question for you. Love, love, love the podcast interviews with all the cruise uh, creators, content creators. Would you please consider doing one with Emma Cruises or Gary Brimridge from Tips for Travelers? I would consider both, and I've already done one with Emma, so make sure that mm -hmm. you go listen to that Emma episode. Talks about her whole cruising origin and some differences between U.S. cruises and U.K. cruises. So, but yeah, I'd love to get Gary on it. I'm uh, going to talk to Don, I think, tomorrow. It just depends how I feel. It's, it's been weird. Um, not with Don, but uh, so I might record one with Don tomorrow about his experience on the Sun mm -hmm. Princess. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh... Question, did I find I was getting offers after my jackpot? I saw mine change slightly, but not huge. Um, so that was my last, was that our last? Yeah, that was on the Jubilee. Yeah. And yeah, I did get um, invited to their, is it their elite? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Which we're not going to go, but yeah, it was nice to see like the elite offer in there, which was nice. Tess Almond from Tess the heiress Almond. to the Almond Milk uh, mm -hmm. franchise said that Frenze is going around South America, heading to Buenos Aires in Argentina. Wow. Um, there you go. Uh, question, hotel close to Miami that you would stay at. There's an area in Miami called the Blue Lagoon. Mm -hmm. They have a Hampton Inn that we stayed at that was nice. It was excellent. There's yeah. something else in that Blue Lagoon, too. Uh, the Hilton is there. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's nice area. A nice area. Um, Somebody else. Oh, have we ever done a river cruise? Abigail asked. No, Abigail, we have not. Uh, do we know what Broadway show is on Anthem? I don't. I get them all confused. <sighs> I don't either. I know that Oasis is on Cats, and I know that Wonder has Effectors 2. Harmony, I want to say, has Grease. Grease. One uh, of them has Hairspray. One has Hairspray, one has Mamma Mia. And what does the new icon of the seas have, Anthony? Uh, Wizard of Oz. I know. That's right. I have to go on that ship. Yeah. Have to, have to. Have to sell a kidney, and I only got one, so. <laughs> I guess I'm selling mine then. That's right. Question, would you know if three wheelchairs would be able to be seated at a table in the main dining room on Oasis class? Absolutely. Yeah, they I think they can move. Yeah, they can They can move stuff around. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Tony and Jenny need to play in the Danube for your next occasion. Yeah, I can't see me jumping on a river cruise. Uh, have we been to Greece? And which cruise line would you recommend for a Greece cruise? We didn't. We were supposed to go on MSC that would have taken us to a couple cruises. There's a lot of stuff. Like if you want a really specific Greek cruise, Crystal, I believe, is a brand over mm -hmm. there. But then you could also do like one of the major brands. Like MSC is big in that yeah, area. Yeah, MSC is huge in that area. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for the well wishes. Yeah, I feel really good. I feel really good. Yeah, you're doing so good. Uh, maybe you could sell that thyroid instead of a kidney. I don't have it. I mean, well, I did get to eat part of it. It was part of the ritual. Oh, my goodness. Don't even say that. Jenny yeah. said I'm not supposed to say that we ate part of my thyroid. I didn't eat part of my thyroid, but that would have been interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. Beverly Judica, have cruise lines been more lax on expiration dates on next cruise certificates? We have quite a few with NCL and Virgin. So I'm not quite sure what Virgin, but if you check with NCL, I believe that they moved them out to cancel in like you know, 2099. So ch just check on your um, Latitudes account online. Uh, let's see from Andrew. How do I feel about Ben and David's treatment on MSC? Uh, it sounds like they got a couple of videos. Yeah, it sounds like they got treated pretty rudely. So again, I'm okay with the cruise line saying don't film here, don't do this or don't do that. But as paying passengers, I don't think any of the people on the ship should be rude to you. And it sounded like they did get some rude treatment. So. Uh, I'm, I'm against the rude treatment. Right. The rude, I'm going to cross my arms. I'm against the rude treatment. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
Question, have you ever sailed out of the Alabama terminal? Yeah, our very first cruise was from Mobile, <laughs> Alabama. It was such a great time. <laughs> They've upgraded the terminal since then, uh, mm -hmm. but it was good. It was fun. We got on a ship that immediately broke, and we didn't actually leave at 4 o'clock when we were supposed to. It was wild. I mean, everything about that first cruise, we should have not liked cruising. Yeah. Right? Like, even when we were going to the port, like, the train stopped us, and, you know, we're getting yelled at because the taxi driver is going in and out, and... Yeah, we should have not liked cruising, but boy, it just made us fall in love because, I mean, we're super adaptable, right? So, yeah. I mean, that, and that's what cruising is. You just expect, you know, you got to love the unexpected. That's right. Thank you guys for hitting that thumbs up. Uh, we got over a thousand. That's very nice. Uh, somebody said, can you cruise without a passport? Lisa Carol Eggleston. Eggle, Eggleston? You can, but boy, it's not I wouldn't do advised. It. It's risky. Yeah. It's risky. I mean, if it's closed loop travel, which means you're leaving from one U.S. port, going to a foreign stops or multiple foreign stops, and then returning to the same U.S. port, right. that's closed loop travel. You can do that with a photo ID and a birth certificate. Mm -hmm. But even the State Department's saying, look, don't do that. Don't you're in, do you could get stuck in Mexico, and it's going to be a pain to get back. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's expensive, right? If you're only going to cruise one time, you don't know if you're going to cruise again. Our first cruise, we I think we had a birth certificate, or I may have had a passport at that time, but right. you did birth certificate. Sometimes you got to do that. But uh, if I had my druthers, I would I would say everybody should have a passport. Yeah. Uh, question from Jack White. What is the most important criteria for you in picking a cruise or cruise line, cruise uh, costs, ports, food, shows, rooms, etc.? Used to be the ship for me, but I think it might be the ports now. Uh, what's the most important criteria for us? Um, for me, it's probably the ships. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, like the Sun Princess. Yeah. I wish I was on that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Icon. I can't wait to go on that. Yeah. Like, yeah. So for me, it's it's probably still the, the ship and when I... And then when I can get those ships at a, at a good, decent price. Yeah. Um... Let's see, Deborah, question. Book my first cruise in NCL to Canada in October. Any recommendations for excursions in Halifax and St. John? I think, so I walked around in Halifax and I went to the Maritime Museum. Then I took the amphibious vehicle, like the duck boat there. there so there was a big explosion in Halifax Harbor. And uh, there's a couple places that you can go and see even the rim. It's like 100 years ago, I think. You can go see like an anchor got blown across the land. I, I think I would have liked to done, done a tour that talked about that in Halifax, but we had a great time walking the, the pier and going to the Maritime Museum, seeing the Titanic stuff there, seeing the ship models, all that's doable by foot. But I think if I was gonna book a excursion, I would book one that takes me, there's another, there was an airline crash in, uh, it's all bad stuff, right? Airline crash in Halifax, uh, Peggy's Cove. So I would look for a, I would look for that. That sounds pretty interesting. St. John, we did a hop on hop off uh, bus, and I would recommend that. It took us to a lot of places. We learned about Benedict Arnold. We went uh, out to a park. We went to the falls that run the wrong way. Uh, that was a good time. Good time. Yeah. Uh, Andrew McQueen, thank you so much for the super sticker. Super sticker. Little Life, um, our first cruise was on the Carnival Fantasy Animobile. That's right. Freya, thank you so much for the super sticker. Very, very much appreciated. The now retired fantasy. <laughs> now disassembled Johnny Five. Yes. Question, have you ever been on the Royals President's Cruise? I'll be on the President's Cruise out of Barcelona that I mentioned earlier. No, Keith, mm -hmm. haven't, haven't done that. Sounds like that could be fun. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, have we ever been to Gatorland? No, Jose, we have not. Uh, we talked about it this weekend, though, but never. My daughter Marissa has been to Gatorland, and she said it's a must-see. Um, question, is the price holding you from booking Icon like others are? What price would you say okay to book? I think it is. Like, I don't want to pay $6,000 for a week of cruising on the Icon. It's just not worth it to me. Mm -hmm. Looks like a wonderful ship. I can't wait to experience it, but... Uh, no, I don't. I mean, even though you know, I could go and make videos, and that would be a part. You know, I could probably, I could probably make six thousand dollars back doing a bunch of videos. But uh, it just, I, I don't see the value prop there. It just, yeah, I'll, I'll wait until the star comes out and it gets cheap, something like that. Yeah. Well, hello, Mike. Hope you're doing well, Mr. Mike Wagner. Is in the house. Uh, Kaylee, what do you do when you retire? Most people cruise. I, 
I don't, I don't think I'll ever retire. Mm -hmm. I really feel like, well, I don't know. I got weird philosophies, but I feel like you should be as productive as possible for as long as you can. Like, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say I don't believe in retirement, but, um, yeah, I, I, I think forever I want to just be active and productive. Um, so cruising probably <laughs> cruising. Uh, let's see. Question from Beverly. Are there certain cruises where you just enjoy eating at the MDR and those that you'd rather eat, especially dining all week? Or it, I think it just depends on the cruise. Yeah. We've and it just depends on like our kind of moods. Right. And like what day it is. But like when we're on group cruises, we like to we enjoy sharing the meal in the MDR. Um, but a lot of times we just jump into the buffet, grab something. Sometimes we'll go to specialties. Just cruising, any recommendations for Marseille, France? Never been there. So if anybody's been to Marseille, hook us up with some recommendations. Uh, what do you do in Victoria, British Columbia for the four hours carnival? Docks there, quibs, uh, 90. Basically, we took uh, my brother, Retro Sarge, and I jumped on a bus at the cruise terminal. We rode to the downtown, and we just hoofed it around. We went and looked at the... I can't remember what that government building was there. It was beautiful. There's a classic hotel there. We walked the streets. We went to Tim Hortons. And then it was time to go back. So there's not a lot of time. But we did some souvenir shopping, but it was good. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, BC in Victoria, um, the BCT at the Empress is really good, too. Remember Scotty Mac? Oh, yeah. From Steam and Bean went to that also. Said the same thing. Question from Jessica, uh, cruising Valiant Lady next month. Any do not miss things you'd recommend? Never been on the Valiant Lady, been on Scarlet Lady. Uh, do as much as you can. Like even though the shows are non-traditional, I would go to as many of those as possible. Try as many of the restaurants as possible. The it's really some of the best food at sea. There's no traditional main dining room. There's no traditional buffet, and all the food is really excellent. It's like almost everything's prepared to order. Uh, yeah, uh, food and shows. That, but of course, that's what I'll tell you on almost any cruise line. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> oh, there's an area behind the Empress. Uh, most people don't know about. But it always full of bees with beekeepers and is neat to see. Oh, that's wild. I don't know if I would want to go through that, but it probably is beautiful. Uh, Kim Nicholson, if you miss a question, how do you go back and answer? We don't. There's just so many questions. So we're kind of looking over and whatever we see, we answer. And if we miss it, nothing personal to anybody. We just maybe try to leave a comment. We'll try to answer it. But mm -hmm. uh, it's one of those things when you got 1,500 people in just 60 minutes, you can't, you can't do it all. Uh, how necessary, Diane S., how necessary is it to get euros and British pounds for British Isles cruise? Where would they, where would they be needed? I didn't get euros or British mm -hmm. pounds. I just used my credit card. American Express is not really well accepted over there, but, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, you know, most everything takes a card. Uh, but it'd probably be good to have some cash. And uh, the cruise that we were on in Princess, you could get, you could get, I think maybe I got a few Maybe I, I, I take it back. I was on a cruise with Don, and I did do some exchange for currency. I just don't remember using it. I feel like at the end of the cruise... I think it was in China. No, this was more last year. Uh -huh. So it had to be maybe the British Isles, but I don't remember using the money. I think I still had it at the end, and I swapped it back. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What happens if a one-year-old wins bingo on the Radiance? Uh, they won't win, and I don't know who would let a one-year-old play bingo. So the you got to be 18 to win any kind of money. I think they say that, but yeah, uh, surely a parent wouldn't let their one-year-old kid say that they won bingo, but uh, maybe it happens. I'm sure that maybe, you know, let me take it back. Let me walk it back a little bit. It just seems absurd to me that a one-year-old would be playing bingo because how do they know how to play bingo? But um, <laughs> I'm sure they would let the parent claim it maybe, you know, but I, I would just be annoyed if I was the cruise person. Like, do you really, you really had your one-year-old yell out bingo? Uh, but that, that, that would just be me. Yeah. Any advice for MSC cruising? Yeah, um, enjoy in, it. Yeah. yeah, and go in with an open, open mind. mind yeah. It is very different um, than the streamlined cruising that everybody is used to. Um, but, I mean, we really, well, I don't want to speak for you, but, I mean, I really enjoy MSC. Yeah. Uh, how much is the IMAX theater on the Vista? I paid sixteen fifty to see Aquaman 2, David Taylor. Uh, question from Kaylee. Have you ever met John Heald personally? Yes, I met him at the celebration naming ceremony and I saw him briefly on the 
celebration, I think. Uh. Um, yeah, so this is any advice for getting into a cruise ship quicker while online? No. The, well, my advice is to go at the time that you're assigned and, um, you know, loyalty gets you, you know, what is that called? Preferred. Yeah. Lot, like getting on the ship. Yeah. But yeah, if, if everybody would just stay with the time that they're supposed to be there, it does go a lot quicker and it helps the port um, run smoother. I know. Same thing for a 10 year old. Uh, hopefully people aren't letting their 10 year old yell out bingo. Uh, but yeah, th they're probably just going to give it to the parent. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Andrew asked, what was the, my occupation before full-time cruising? I was in an IT leadership starting right around Y2K. Uh, I was a tinkerer. Like I was a, you know, I, I did stuff. I touched stuff then. And then probably five, six years into it, I got into IT leadership. And so, uh, ran data centers. Uh, my, I guess my last official title was global operations manager for Fortune 500. But uh, gosh, I'm glad I don't do that. Anymore. Oh, I'm glad I'm you glad, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I was like on call for 20 years. It was so. Uh, uh, it was woo. yeah, very demanding. Woo. Um, how long have we been married? 21 years. We were married in 2003. Yeah, but we were married before. Do we still not get to count the time before? Nope. I feel I feel like I should get to. I, I'm coming up on like 30 years or something. No. Well, can we add it all together? 60 years. 60 years. That's right. We can. <laughs> Any slot pool tips? Win or be the person with your card oh, in the machine. Boy. I only played one slot pool tournament and I don't think I can, I will ever do it again. Yeah. Remember like for a week, my wrist was just killing me. Uh, let's see. From Macrina. Since Carnival is now doing an additional upgrade to Celebration Key and two new XL ships announced, do you think there will be four in Miami or Port Canaveral? I don't know. I mean, I hadn't really thought it through. They'll split them up, right? So you'll have uh, Mardi Gras, I think, will stay in Port Canaveral. And then Celebration's in Miami. The Jubilee is in Galveston. And you're getting two more. They might double up. Uh, you know, Where else are they going to go? I guess they could go out of Lauderdale, maybe. They could send one up the coast somehow or out to the west coast. I think you'll see a double up in Canaveral and uh, Miami. Double up with the deal most definitely. I drink Brass Monkey because I rock well. I got a castle in Brooklyn, White Castle. That's, Shout where, out I, Luda. that's where I dwell. There's Luda. <laughs> How do you release and renew an IP address? from? So you have to type command on Windows and then it's IP config slash R. I can't remember, but uh, it's been a minute. But, Ooh, uh, the old hope, test hopefully, right there. hopefully that was enough to let you know that I've done that once or twice. What's um, your thoughts on John Heald? I think he's the man. Everybody puts him through the ringer, and he, um, he's he's great. I'm cold on John Heald right now. What? Why? Yeah. I feel like I give John a lot of love, right? And he still slags off on the uh, on the on the vloggers sometimes. So fine. We, if you want to go to war, well, at least you're number one. We could go to war. <laughs> I don't know. He seems nice enough, but yeah. you know, listen, he's got. He gets paid job. by the man. What That's are you gonna right. do? He gets paid by the man. He gets he's paid by the listen. man. He's gotta listen to the rules. That's right. And if they don't like, like uh, I said, they don't I said, like us this week. That's okay. I said it in a video the other day. The next time I see him, I might not even look his way. Uh, he's made me feel like some kind of way. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Um, someone said, what? You were married before? Yes, we were. Yeah, we, we tried it out once. Yeah. And uh, that's how we found each other. We, were, we met each other in a recovering from a try it out once scenario <laughs> situation. <laughs> and we, we swapped war stories and we figured out that we would be together. That's right. You're funny. Can't you shorten that release though? I think it is. I thought there was a shorter shortcut. Maybe I'm thinking about Linux that has a different kind of release. Uh, so what? Mary has a question for you. Yeah. Where did you find the Beatles Lego sets? Oh, I thought that was Mosquito Guy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I yes, you're right. So I bought the original one at the Lego store, and then I thought, I'm just going to build Paul. And then I started crying like a baby about it after it retired. And so I picked up another one somewhere. And then Jenny got me two, I think, for our anniversary or something mm -hmm. to complete the set. They were pretty cool. They are pretty cool. Yeah. Question, was the Mardi Gras easy to navigate? Do you recommend XL class ships? It's a big ship. You know, it depends. If you're good at getting around a big ship, it was pretty straightforward. There wasn't, you know, there's nothing worse than some of these, like, 20-year-old design ships where 
you'll go down a stairwell and you can't get, <laughs> you can't through, get to you the can't get room. anywhere. Those are the worst. But I feel like if you're on the action decks on uh, the Mardi Gras, they go all the way through. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But yeah, the action decks yeah. seem pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Well, and I feel like um, what Carnival did, kind of like with Royal, every time they put out a new Oasis class ship, they just make that next one a little easier, a little better. They change little, very little minute things. Um, you know, like on the Mardi Gras, the door to the cabin doesn't open completely. Yeah. But, you know, they fix that on the Celebration Jubilee. So you'll you'll see little differences, but they're, they're not horrible to, to um, maneuver. Thomas said, did I get the extremely rare Pete Best Lego set? The funny thing is, I saw Pete Best on that Rotterdam cruise last year, and he was a little bitter. I just want to say that. It was really interesting to hear him talk about the Beatles uh, at the Cavern and then going to Hamburg. But at the end, he was listening to him talk about George Martin and Ringo. He was a little bitter. It would be cool to have a fifth Beatle. And then you also need, like, Stu. I can't remember Stu's last name, but you need that one, too. Uh, any information on Beyond? It's a celebrity cruise ship. Uh, recently built in the Edge class. I haven't been on it. I know Don's been on it, um, but I feel like it's uh, much of the same from the Edge and the Apex. Uh, but yeah, it, it should be good. Good night, Kelly Song. Sleep well. Sleep with the angels. Good night, good night. Uh, question, Don is playing a group cruise on the Sun Princess 315. Can you two join us? Probably not. We're going to be on Don's uh, Sun Princess in December. Mm -hmm. uh, so join us there. December 7th. I can't wait. That's going to be fun. Yeah, that's right. Stu Sutcliffe. I can't remember the last name. Uh, Lita Life's wearing a kilt on the next cruise. Sounds like it's approved. Uh, do that. Does Royal have the scooters must fit in the cabin rule? I haven't heard that. I really hadn't heard anybody talking it up other than Carnival. They might, though. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, my mustache itches right here. <laughs> My moustache. Your moustache. Uh, question. Looking to sell the Regal Princess in November. First time sailing on Princess. What's your thoughts? Uh, Jenny said it earlier. The technology is amazing. The medallion, if you've never cruised on Princess, it's really neat. You know, you just wear it. They know who you are when you're ordering a drink. Uh, Regal had a lot of cool stuff on it. That was one of the newer ships, right? Regal? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I think you'll like it. It's, you know, International Cafe, the game shows, the entertainment. It's good. I don't know what you normally like cruising, but it's kind of a nice chill, a lot of cool stuff to do on a cruise, a great yeah, technology and, kind of cruise. And the crew is phenomenal, like every other cruise line. And I mean, it's just, it's a great, it's a great cruise line. It's an interesting question from Diane. Uh, what do you, thank you for the super chat. What do you miss in cruising from before COVID? What do you really like that came out of COVID? The easiest what we like that came out of COVID is E-Muster. Like e not, is fantastic. Not having to stand all together on the, it's the, it was the best thing that happened with COVID. COVID. I don't know, like two day room cleanings, we very, very rarely used yeah. it. But when we did use it, it was nice. Right. Like, you know, you get your room clean in the morning, you take a nap, you muss up the sheets. And then when you come back, you got your sheets all fixed in a nice turn down. What do we miss from before? Maybe the food was better. I've heard, you know, there was I some think food, the food costs. I food was a little bit better. Yeah. Um, and I think that they are just, they're trying to make up for lost revenue. Yeah. You know, so I feel like room service is a little bit more expensive. Yep. And yep. Um, I hate to use the term nickel and dime, but I sometimes feel like that. Yeah. The uh, the other thing that was nice post-COVID is I feel like the embarkation processes are quicker. That's very true. Yeah, I think so. Um, excuse me. Question. Will you be on the Norwegian Encore on August of 2025? Uh, we will be. Encore. Um, gosh, I don't know where you're going, but uh, Encore's got that nice observation deck. I would try that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you like riding a go-kart, you could ride a go-kart. Definitely go see the show in the main theater. Get yourself a Reuben. Of course, the wild thing, we went on the Starbucks. NCL. We went on the NCL Joy, and uh, the local or Oceans, whatever it's called there, had the best Reubens. It really did. But then I went on the NCL Dawn, and it was not good. Like, I, I need to really pull out all the pictures of the Rubens because they're hit or miss. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, make sure you check out the local and, and, you know, see the band in the atrium. A lot of good stuff there. Well, and on the Prima, the local, do they call it the local on the Prima? I can't remember if it's It was not good. Yeah, it's local. I think Oceans is the name that went away. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Right, thank you. Question, does Oasis of the Seas always have problems before embarkation? I'm going... 
Um, I don't the only know. thing I can remember was on Oasis line, yeah. was the debarkation that they made you go outside <laughs> and walk all the way. It was crazy. Do you remember that? Yeah. Uh, Margo with a question. What are your thoughts on Sun Princess Theater and the round concept? I saw the video from Don where he couldn't see. You know, we've been to theater in the half round on those Celebrity Edge ships. I liked it. I, I liked that presentation, the fact that they can use the big screen and it's uh, kind of in the round. But Don is not a fan of theater in the round. So uh, <laughs> I'll have to hold judgment on Sun Princess until I go myself. Yeah. So uh, My Risky Cruise is the very first sailing of the uh, utopia, utopia of the seas. Mm -hmm. I had a bad experience on the last initial sailing of an Oasis class cruise ship, and I thought I'd resolve to myself that I would never do that again. But um, now that I've thought about it, at least knowing going in that it could be a challenge, I think I've changed my attitude about it. So if I go there and stuff's not ready, then I knew going in. But uh, it'll be fun, and I think just because we don't have anything planned and you know, I didn't get to go on Icon and my son Princess got canceled and then I couldn't go on the makeup one. Um, yeah, we'll just go on Utopia, see how that turns out. <laughs> Oasis class are my favorite ships anyway, so. Yeah. Um, on the Prima, what uh, specialty dining did we have? We had the Mexican restaurant, which was really good. Los Lobos. I think we ate yeah. there twice because I was like, oh, can we go back to the Mexican? That is good. And I'm not really like a huge fan of Mexican food, um, but that was really good. Yeah. Um, and then where else did we eat? Did we eat there twice? And we might have eaten there twice. Yeah, I think we ate there twice. Uh, we've never purchased art at sea, but I love the art enrichment Um Seminars they have eventually they try to sell you something, but I've heard some great lectures about Picasso and Dali and Monet I love those. I think that that's great that that's included um, Let's see is the ice skating show worth it on Royal Caribbean. Yes go to all yes, those shows Fresca. Go to all those shows on Royal Caribbean uh, Thanks everybody for all the kind words. Uh, we love doing the show. and We love being here for you guys um, Question have you do we have a cruise book for September the 24th? We have something in September. Yeah, pretty September close. September 14th. 14th. Um, why don't we talk more about the ports? I, there, we have a lot of videos about the ports. Uh, I guess because there's so many ports, what do you, uh, we could talk about any ports. But yeah. if we go to a port, I usually talk about it. You may have recently seen the 30-minute expose I did on the new Nassau cruise port. If not, make sure you check it out. Yeah, it's a great video. Yeah. Uh, let's see... Bigfoot real or not? Yes, Bigfoot's real. The Yeti's real. <laughs> I was in I was in the Loch Ness last year. You know, it, I saw Nessie, so all that stuff's real. All right. Uh, Is that it? That's it, baby. Wow, that went quick. Thank yes, you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys hitting that thumbs up button. All the great questions. Big apology if we didn't get to your questions. Nothing personal. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll be back with the show tomorrow. My name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. We are La Lita Loca. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's the middle. Hey, look, we'll go fast. Wait. Oh, I haven't published yet. <laughs> Here it comes. Are you ready for the uh, the outro? Here we go. Bye. Say bye. Bye. bye.